We're here at Winter Gardens Blackpool, the Bet Victor World Match Play. I'm delighted to say joining me now is Wes Newton, who's just come through an epic battle, 15-13 against Paul Nicholson. Wes, where do we start here? Uh, just try and run through some of the emotions going through your mind in that game there. <laughs> Um, it's unbelievable to be honest. Um, you know, I've, I know coming into this tournament, I've, I've I've not been playing really well. I've you know I've been doubting myself. My confidence is low, and um, I think it showed in my games. Um, I, I've been la laugh a bit to be honest. Ronnie was so far ahead. Um, the game was over really, but Ronnie let me off, and I come back into it. Um, you know, I showed a good bit of spirit to come back into the game, but um, you know, it wasn't me. But I won. So, um, and then tonight against Paul. Um, I felt a bit better having 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 a win under my belt, and um, I had a dis disastrous start, five 0 down. I thought um, I could have been four one up. You know what I mean? I was having chances every leg, and I was missing fair play to Paul. He was taking his chances out. You know, it's it's not Paul's fault. I'm, I miss. He, he took his chances, and fair play to him. But um, I, I just said to myself, right, forget the score, just keep going, keep going. And um, I won the next session three two, and it could have been more. So I think I was. What seven seven three down? But um, I just I always knew deep down inside I was scoring better than Paul. I was scoring better, and um, but I was missing my chances. And I just said to myself, just forget the score, keep going as you are. Um, you're outscoring him, but just just start taking your chances. And I did. Um, you know, it's a big factor having the crowd on my side because I responded to him. I think they was they was cheering me on and willing me on, and um, you know started fighting, really fighting deep down and. I was giving a bit back to the crowd, they was responding, so um, I had a bit of fighting spirit and I just knew I could come back into it if I, if I kept out scoring Paul and just started taking my chances, which I did. Um, There's one, one crucial point when I took 160 out, Paul sat on a double to win the match. I just said to myself, it's do or die this, just just, just do it and, I, and I, thankfully I did it. And same against Ronnie, I took the 148 out to win, so um, you know, I'm showing I'm showing a good, good fighting spirit and a, a will to win, but um, you know, I've not, I've not, I've not been playing how I can, but uh, you know, hopefully that's going to click into. Him. Yeah, that one sixty was that one of your best shots of your career? Well, yeah, it's got to be. Um, you know, I mean, it, it was like I said, it was do or die. Uh, Paul was on double to win, and um, I just said to myself, just you know, he took one four eight against Ronnie, he can do one sixty here, just two two trebles and a double, and I just focused so much getting that first start in, and which it did, and I followed it, and my double, I just, I just. Thought throw at it, you know, don't go low, don't, don't snatch it, just throw at it, and it went in. Thank, thank God, man. <laughs> but uh, what an awesome shot to do the right things at the right time. Um, I've, I've got to give myself a pat on the back and you know try and take some confidence from it. Yeah, I mean, obviously you said about the crowd there. I mean, you must be you are the most popular person here at the Winter Gardens. How important is that to you? Yeah, it's important to get the crowd on your side. Like I said, um, I felt sorry for Paul at certain times. He was getting booed off the crowd. It's not nice. Um, I've been there in the Premier League. And I've played, like I said, I played Gary Anderson in Scotland and and various players wherever. And obviously, every crowd's got their, their own favourite players. It's you know it's a fact. It's, it's just like football, a certain team being at home. But um, you know you got to deal with it. It's, it's a fact of darts now, and um, you just got to get on with it and, and and try and shut the crowd up. But uh, like I said, thankfully the crowd's on my side and they seem to lift me a bit. Phil Taylor and Michael Smith now in the quarterfinals. Um, could have to take a few more one sixties out with. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> You know, I felt a lot better tonight practicing than I did against Ronnie, probably because I, I went under my belt and I started building a bit of confidence. But um, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't brilliant early on. But um, I always felt deep down inside I was going to click in at some point. But um, you know, the next game is a really tough game. Michael Smith's world youth champion. He's beat Phil the last two times. You know, he's, he's Michael Smith's a world beater. Um, Phil Taylor's the best best start player he's ever lived. So tough game. No matter what happens, I've, I've got, got to take the positives from this game and start believing and, and you know, try and bring out the, the real Wes Newton. If you start taking them high finishing and that crowd on your side, you're going to be a challenge for anyone. Listen, thank you very much for joining us here on Tunks and Tales. Good luck in the quarterfinals and all the best for the, for the, for the whole season. Thank you. Thanks, mate. That's uh, Wes Newton here for Tunks and Tales in association with Unicorn Darts.